Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we will do linear equations. Introduction An arithmetic statement involving the symbol equal means the statement of equality. The statement of the arithmetic does not involve a variable, but in algebra statement involve one or more variable. Foster's equation. Statement of equality which involve one or more variable is known as an equation. For example, a number x is more than 3, that is x plus 3 is 20. Kiski equal at 20 k. So expression is x plus 3 equals to 20. The sum of a number x and twice of the number y is 17 can be written as the sum of the number x plus twice of the number y, that is equal to x plus 2 y. Kiski equal at that is equal to 17. 5 times of the number x means 5x five is 25. That is equal to 25 can be written as 5x equals to 25. Here each one of the above statement is an equation and each equation involves one or more variable. Next, note to remember. An equation is the condition on one or more variable. It is satisfied only for the definite value of the variable. There are many types of equation. In this chapter, we shall study linear equation in one variable only. Next is linear equation. If the highest power of the variable is 1 in the equation, then it is called linear equation. Next, note to remember. An equation with only one variable and the highest power of the variable is 1 is called the linear equation in one variable. An equation has two equal side, namely left hand side that is LHS and right hand side that is RHS. For example, x plus 7 that is equals to 15. So, what is the LHS? Left hand side that is x plus 7 and 15 is the RHS. Clear? Solution of an equation. The value of the variable in an equation which satisfies the equation is known as the solution of equation. Note to remember. Solution of an equation is also known as the root of the equation. Next, solution of the linear equation by trial and error method. So, working rule for this method are given below. First is take any linear equation. Put several values of the variable to find the values of LHS and RHS of the equation. When LHS equals to RHS for the particular value of the variable, then the value of the variable is the solution of equation. Note to remember. If trial and error method, we often make the guess of the solution for the equation. If LHS is not equal to RHS, we do not get an equation. Now we will take an example. Find the solution of equation n plus 4 equals to 9 by trial error method. We try some approximate value of n and find the value of LHS and RHS. We stop at the value where n where LHS equals to RHS. So our equation is n plus 4 equals to 9 means we have to add a number and force will get 9. Then only LHS equals to RHS. So we will try different number with 1. So 1 plus 4 that is 5. 2. 2 plus 4 6. 3 plus 4 7. 4 plus 4 8. Here 5. 5 plus 4 9. Clear? So n is here 5. So n equals to 5 that is the solution of equation or the root of equation. Clear? Next is exercise 12.1. Check whether the given values satisfy the equation. Our equation is 5m equals to 60. Here the value of m is given 10. So 5 into 10 that is equals to 50. That is not equals to 60 means LHS 
is not equal to RHS. That means the given value will not satisfy the equation. Clear? So practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is systematic method for solving an equation. We can compare an equation with the balance. If two equal things or weights are put in the two parts, then two pens remain in balance. If we add or remove equal weight from the both pens, then they also remain the balance. Next is, similarly, same things happen in equation. Rules to solve an equation. If we add or subtract the same number to the both sides of an equation, the value of equation does not change. Means same number we are adding or subtracting in both the sides. So value will not change. If we multiply or divide by the same non-zero number on the both sides of an equation, the value will not change. Clear? Now we'll take an example. Solve the equation m minus 5 equals to 10 and check the result also. So, m minus 5 equals to 10. Here we have to find the value of m. m ke sath kya 5. So, what we'll do? We have to remove 5 from here. So, we'll add 5 on both sides. So, ye cancel ho jayega. m bach jayega. Yaan pe kya ho jayega? 10 plus 5 that is 15. So, value of m will be 15 here. Clear? Next is transportation. We know that one can add or subtract the number from both sides of the equation. So for an equation x minus 4 equals to 5, we can write x minus 4 plus 4 equals to 5 plus 4. So x equals to 5 plus 4. Similarly, for the equation x plus 5 equals to 3, we can write x plus 5 minus 5 equals to 3 minus 5. So x equals to 3 minus 5. In both these cases, you will notice that after this operation, the number appear on the other side of the equation, but with the opposite sign. So, you can state we change the sign of the term and transfer it from one side of the equation to other side. This is called transportation. We will understand this with the help of example. Solve 3x plus 5 equals to 13 minus x. Check the result. Our expression is 3x plus 5 equals to 13 minus x. Transportation means left hand side say right hand side pe transfer karna hai, right hand side say left hand side pe transfer karna by changing their sign. So 3x here jo x hai, that is in right hand side. Ab hum isko kiske pe la rahe? Right hand side say left hand side pe. So we'll change the sign to ye jayega plus x and 5 will go to right hand side. So sign change ho jayega minus 5. 3x plus x that is 4x, 13 minus 5 that is 8, x equals to 8 minus 4, so x equals to 2. So hence, x equals to 2 is the solution of the given equation. Now we can check our answer by substituting the value of x equals to 2. So 3 into 2 plus 5 equals to 13 minus 2, so that is equals to 11. 3 into 2, 6 plus 5, 11. 11 equals to 11 means right hand side equals to left hand side. So, this is the given solution of equation. Clear? So, kab hogi left hand side equals to right hand side when x equals to 2. Next is exercise 12.2. Solve the following equation and verify the result. First is m minus 4 equals to 6. So our expression is m minus 4 equals to 6. So we'll change the side. 6, 4 is side jayega plus. So m equals to 10. Now we'll check. Put the value of m equals to 10. So 10 minus 4 equals to 6. So 6 equals to 6. LHS equals to RHS. That means M equals to 10 is the solution of equation. Clear? Practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is application of equation. We 
have learned how to translate word sentence about number in the form of equation. If a problem of number is given, we shall first translate it in the form of equation and then solve it. The idea will be clear from the example given below. A number divided by 3 and decreased by 5 is 15. What is the number? So, we have suppose that the number be x. The number divided by 3. So, x divided by 3 decreased by 5 means minus 5 that is equal to 15. Now, by adding 5 both the side, we cancel ho jayega. x upon 3 equals to 20. So, x equals to a cross multiplier jayega 20 into 3. That is equals to 60. Hence, the required number is 60. Clear? Next is exercise 12.3. Using a variable, write the following sentence in equation form. First is a number added to 19 result 46. Suppose let the number be x. x is added to 19 and the result is 46. That is our expression. Clear? So practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is things to remember. A mathematical statement that equates two expression with the variable is called an equation. The numerical value of the variable is satisfied and equation is called the solution or the root of equation. If we add or subtract or multiply or divide by the same number on both sides of equation, the solution remain unchanged. In transposing, a number changing the side of the number, we change the sign of the number. Plus sign change into minus sign and vice versa. Means minus kismet change into plus me. And multiplication sign into division and vice versa. Means division will change into multiplication. Clear? Next is multiple choice questions. Take the correct option. If 3 is added to 8 times of a number, the result is 27. The number is, let the number be x. So 8 times of the number, that is 8x. 3 is added to that number, the result is 27. That is our expression. Clear? So, 8x equals to jagger 27 minus 3. That is equals to 24. x equals to 24 upon 8. That is equals to 3. So, x equals to 3. So, c is the correct answer. Clear? So here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now to practice it.